I commonly see patients who have gone for an eye check, maybe with an optometrist, maybe with another healthcare professional, and probably been without any symptoms, but have been told that there's been something noted at the back of their eye. The common thing is that there's concern that the nerve of sight, the optic nerve, may be swollen. Now that can be quite a mysterious statement and that doesn't mean anything to most patients, but perhaps the way in which this has been explained to you or just the anxiety, uh, the fact that it's made your optician anxious means that you yourself can't help being anxious. Nerve swelling is something that should be looked into in more detail and either confirmed by an, uh, an ophthalmologist or discounted. And that's something that in most cases we can do reasonably straightforwardly. Many people who've been told they've got a swollen optic nerve won't have any symptoms at all. Sometimes the big concern really that your optician will, ha or will have had is whether the nerve being swollen at the back of the eye is actually a, 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 something that's occurred in response to the pressure having gone up around your brain. And that can happen for all sorts of reasons, but we do need to find out what that reason is. This is also something that's called papilledema, so you may have heard that term. Again, you may have gone online, you may have looked um, into blogs or um, information resources about this condition, and a lot of what you read can be very concerning. Papilledema is not something I see nearly as often as I see people who have swollen nerves and it's completely an innocent thing. If you have papilledema, you may have certain symptoms. For instance, you, may ha you, you often, almost always have a headache. This headache is usually worse in the morning or lying down. Having said that, headaches are very common things, so having a headache doesn't automatically mean you have papilledema or a rise in pressure around your brain by any stretch. Other symptoms you might have is you might feel your vision's a little bit blurred. But again, there are lots of reasons and ma many of those can be entirely innocent why your vision might be blurred. Some people um, have those symptoms in association with feeling sick or sometimes even vomiting. Because there is the potential for a more serious cause causing, uh, that, that's uh, responsible for you having this nerve swelling, I think it is very, it's important that you see an eye doctor who's comfortable and deals with this on a very regular basis. So if you come and see me, what will happen next? Your vision will be assessed. We will look at the general, obviously once we've had a discussion about your symptoms and gone into that from that point of view, we'll then be able to assess the health of your eye. This will involve often having drops put in and having uh, various um, specialised tests taken, essentially photographs of the eye. We've got some really uh, very useful tools that we never had before that can look at your nerve in detail. You may have had those done at the opticians already. Some people may have even seen a photograph of their nerve. But sometimes you need somebody who deals with actually um, the kind of, who's got more experience of dealing with disease states to know that this, what you have is a completely normal nerve and to talk through things with you. If there's concern that you've got uh, swelling of the nerve, then we will need, to, or if, if there's even the suspicion that that's what it might be, we will need to do some further investigations. Sometimes that can involve undertaking an MRI scan of your brain.